All right, so I just log on, right? And this is not even the first time that it's happened, just the first that I have got on recorded. And I come to this, to this, look at this. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> even, oh my God, it's even named. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Make can see. <laughs> Look at <it. laughs> This is amazing. I'm going to mispronounce your name. I'm sorry. Aster. Aster. Thank you so much. This is too kind. Too kind. Welcome back to another episode on the Sunbath server. My name is Old Mannered Miner, and today we are jumping in to work on the base a bit. And I made an enchantment huh? room. You can hear him up there. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, he's like right above us. Yeah, check out these black candles. We've got all the bookshelves, and we are ready to do our first enchant. Dun dun dun. How will it go? Efficiency four. Okay, okay. I was really hoping for fortune, but I will take this. That is not too bad. And look, I got the achievement. Alright, yes, finally a diamond pickaxe. That is great. Yeah, check this out. So I made a little portal room. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I got a, a couple things going here. Um, yeah. I am now going to work on the melon and pumpkin farm. And yeah, I should have that going soon. What? <laughs> we have a friend! <laughs> That's so funny. Where are you going, bud? Where are you going? <laughs> That's so funny. I was just working on uh, organizing the storage, still moving some stuff around. But uh, yeah, it. Uh, so much easier to find stuff when you have it have it labeled um, and I was gonna use item frames with uh, items in them but this just felt more hobbit holy uh, and I still need to figure out what a couple of the bins are for but I have almost everything filled I have some categories I have kelp as its own <laughs> as its own uh, barrel there but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead, finish moving stuff around here, and I'll be right back. My roommate keeps getting in my way. He's a, a bit of a nuisance of a roommate. He's pretty loud too. Keeps grunting and stuff. <laughs> I was trying to throw... I, I created this little trash can under here using a cactus. And I was trying to throw stuff in here, and he kept getting in my way. All right, yeah, I think I disposed of my trash, but I do I do just want to show you this uh, All right, so I have three cobble toss it in falls on there and deleted It's my new little trash can right under the sink or whatever this is little kitchen kitchen area. It's like a garbage disposal <laughs> I do have some other news I have been hard at work in this little cave, I still need to uh, terraform all this and stuff. But look at what I made. Oh, and it's way overflowing. Oof. Check it out. So this is a melon and pumpkin farm. Automatic. We have um, observers that watch each of the stems. And 
whenever a melon or pumpkin grows, the stem gets an update and then it triggers the pistons around it to break that melon or pumpkin. And normally, if it wasn't full, this hopper minecart would be going around. Yep, there it goes. So if I take stuff out, it goes around and picks stuff up. We can sort of watch it through here. And yeah, just picked, picked most of that stuff up. And then it'll return it to this chest. But apparently I need to, uh, I need to expand the storage or, or something. Yeah, I'm not sure that, that there's a way that I can really turn this off. So there will just be kind of a lot of uh, entities floating around and we don't want that. We want to not cause lag for the server as best we can. So we got to be a little bit responsible here and try to figure out a way um, to turn it off in a way, or at least maybe just expand the storage so that the hopper minecart is able to pick everything up. Um, yeah, hmm. we'll have to think about that. But yeah, in the meantime, look at just the insane amount of melons and pumpkins I've I've collected. And so, um, so one thing that I want to do with this is these are really useful for trading with farmer villagers to get emeralds. Uh, of course, you know, pumpkin pies are also going to be my main food source, so the pumpkins are definitely useful for that. Um, and I really could swap out if I get tired of melons or something. Uh, I could swap them out for pumpkins, but um, yeah, it's. I think I think it has something to do with like the efficiency of having. So I have like each of these rows is uh, alternating between melons and pumpkins. And I think I read somewhere or heard somewhere that that makes it more efficient. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess we don't we don't actually need it to be more efficient. This is a. Uh, more efficient than I can handle. But what else we could do is create a shop. So that's, I think that has to be what I what I do here, is create a shop for melons and pumpkins. Yeah, that's actually a great idea. I'm gonna do that. We have a, a little bit of a shopping area here, here on the server. And um, yeah, that would be really cool. So maybe I will do that. Cause man, we have a ridiculous amount of, uh, items coming in here and I I can't keep up <laughs> I cannot keep up so uh, another thing that I wanted to do is so I like the idea of having this be a cave right but then the whole melon and pumpkin farm really takes up most of it so I know this would be a lot of work but I was kind of thinking to just push this whole thing back <laughs> Just open up a bunch of space here, push it back so that just the front of it was like on the the far wall over there, and then the rest of it was behind that. And that way I could have this, you know, this nice cave area that was open, and I could have maybe like a farm on each wall, uh, something like that. And yeah, sorry about the, the chickens up above. Um, <laughs> I know they're, they're pretty noisy, so maybe we can come over here a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't think I can hear them from over here. Pumpkin, or melons are not, not very good food. They're kind of like cookies. Just one, one little thing. So yeah, don't, definitely don't want to start eating melons. Just want to test that out. Uh, but I do have my pumpkin pies. And now, oh, okay. So now I just need sugarcane, an automatic sugarcane farm. And then I will have a infinite supply of pumpkin pies. That'll be, that'll be nice, really nice. Maybe we could even have a shop for that too. So we can have either, or maybe even both, uh, a shop for melons and pumpkins. Those are useful if people have villagers for trading. Um, and we could also have a pumpkin pie factory. Let's, let's eat our, uh, of course, I don't have my, I just filled up, so I'm not even hungry, but pumpkin pies in hand, ready to go. Yeah, so maybe we'll do that. Let's start thinking about opening a shop. 
And uh, uh, yeah, it's a hard decision, but I, I think I am going to push this back. <laughs> I think I am. Um, let's see, maybe while we're doing so, let's think of a way, see if there's a way that we can turn off the farm. There's a piece of redstone above each one of these observers. So it is pretty disconnected in that sense. Uh, you know, each observer only triggers the pistons directly surrounding it. Hmm. We will have to take a look. Alright, uh, but yeah, I will go ahead and do that, maybe move the farm. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, let's do that. Here we go. We did it. All right, so we went ahead and uh, yeah, moved this this farm back, and now it's operating there. Put a little glass thing. Uh, still have a bit of terraforming to do in the cave here, especially in the entrance area. But I'm pretty happy with uh, where this is now. Now I have this whole room to sort of center, uh, to be a center area where we have farms around. I need to. Uh, my next farm that I'm planning is a sugarcane farm, which is super simple. I might just make a, maybe even a one, one sugarcane, or maybe a couple just um, right behind me there. But uh, yeah, pretty happy with how this turned out. It wasn't too bad, um, as you saw in the uh, the replay there. Um, but uh, yeah, it's looking good now. I did drop it down as well so that we don't have to see the. Um, the red sun or the uh, the hopper minecart go. Hey, there it is. All right. Um, okay, let's head over and build our shop. Um, let's head head over to the shopping district. It's one of the nicest shops I've seen. Wow, and she's got the spore bo spore blossoms. There we go. Words. Um, okay. So yeah, this is our little shopping district here. Got a few shops so far. Enchanted books, gear. Uh, this was netherite. Some end stuff. I wonder if they sell... Uh, oh wow. I wonder if they sell chorus fruit. I'm kind of interested. One of the farms that I, I think people forget about often is an end rod. Um, or I guess the, the farm is the... Um, Chorus fruit farm and blaze rods, and but then end rods. End rods are such great lighting source. They look really nice. Um, they go really good in futuristic builds. Yeah. So 
But anyways, so this is where I was thinking about putting my little shop. Um, sort of to, to stick to my old mannered minor theme. Uh, I think I'll just go with a little cart. Um, yeah, just a little cart off to the side here. Let's see. So I've got some wheels. I'm not sure how big this should be. The wheels here. Oh, whoops. There. Um, I'll keep the middle there too. It's just the logs are very, very expensive. Okay, so I got those. I'm gonna do some buttons. Ah, oh, should have done screws buttons. Let's see how this looks actually. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I'll have to go and get some spruce. But yeah, we'll come back to that. Uh, so I think I can use kind of like a great view from up here. I wonder what that one is. Uh, so actually, I need this to be on the upper part. Have a little bit of a platform. I guess this is. Probably more of a wagon than a cart. Um, I think I can do that. All right, and we just finished up the shop. Let me welcome you to Old Manor Miners Melon and Pumpkin Wagon. <laughs> I, I split the signs there um, because I can't fit Old Manor Miners on one. Uh, but yeah, check it out. We got a little wagon here. Did a little bit of beautification around the, the edge here. You can hop up on either side. Um, but I do have the path going from this side. And yeah, it's very simple. Uh, we just have barrels here. I really want to get the, um, the glow squid ink so that I can brighten these up. But yeah, pretty much just have the stock here. Uh, it's a little bit expensive, I would say, but, um, you know, I gotta make some diamonds, so. <laughs> but yeah, welcome to my little shop. Hopefully I'll, I'll get a couple purchases, but uh, I may also, what I'm thinking about doing is also just making the, um, I'm not sure how much these will sell, depending on... Uh, you know, people with villagers if they need this or not for trading to get emeralds. But I am also going to sell pumpkin pies. Um, so hopefully people will buy them. <laughs> but if not, yeah, I think there's a, a great little shop here and uh, we can sell really anything from it in the future. Uh, so yeah, thanks for, for joining, but that is all I have time for today. So I will see you in the next episode. Bye.